joy we come before God as we begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. At this Mass, my brothers and sisters, we are requested to pray for and we continue to pray for each and every one of you. We continue to pray too for our forthcoming church first, that the Lord may bless each and every one of us in our effort and grant our church first a success through Christ our Lord. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are sinners in need of God's grace. Let us therefore take a moment to recall the many times we have failed God and man. Be sorry for those times and ask God for his pardon and peace. We raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord have mercy. Lord have, have mercy. mercy. To bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ have mercy. Christ have, have mercy. mercy. To bring light to those in darkness. Lord have mercy. Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Proclamation from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The following message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, write all the words I have spoken to you in a book. For thus says the Lord, incurable is your wound, grievous your bruise. There is none to plead your cause, no remedy for your running sore, no healing for you. All your lovers have forgotten you. They do not seek you. I strike you as an enemy would strike, punish you cruelly. Why cry out over your wounds? Your pain is without relief. Because of your great guilt, your numerous sins, I have done this to you. Thus says the Lord, See, I will restore the tents of Jacob, his dwellings that I will pity. City shall rebuilt upon hill, and palace restored as it was. From them will resound songs of praise to the laughter of happy men. I will make them not few, but many. They will not be tiny for I will glorify them. His sons shall be as old as of old. His assembly before me shall stand firm. I will punish all his oppressors. His leaders shall be one of his own. His rulers shall come from his kin. When I summon him, he shall approach me. How else should one take the deadly risk of approaching me? says the Lord. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord and all the kings of the earth, your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion, 
and appears in his glory when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayers. The Lord will give them a sign again and appear in all his glory. Let this be written for the generations to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to be released those to die. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The children of your, of your servants shall abide and their posterity shall continue in your presence that the name of the Lord may be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples gather together and his kingdom to serve the Lord, the Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Someone coming coming in from um, probably coming in from Alabama, then he gets into Houston, and his his, his fuel tank is running empty. He, what does he do? He gets into a gas station, right, and refills so that he can continue on his journey, and so that he will be able to reach his destination. So also does prayer do to each. Do, so also does prayer do to each and every one of us. 
that when we pray, we are recharged. When we pray, we are strengthened. When we pray, our depleted energy is replenished by God. Now Jesus, each time, if you listen to the Gospels well, each time Jesus finished everything with the crown, the word of God will always tell us, he will always go out to a lonely place to pray, to thank God and to ask for the blessings and the spirit that the physical body needs, the material body needs to continue and not get tired. And we, his children, are supposed to emulate him. When we focus on God, when God becomes the, the center of our lives, my brothers and sisters, everything will be put in place. We will go from glory to glory, from joy to joy, from satisfaction to satisfaction, from strength to strength. When we focus on God, Jesus was focused. And that was why nothing failed him. That wherever he was, there, there was this element of calmness, element of honor, elements of wisdom, and everything good. And that was why today, when he finished praying, he came out filled with power. He worked on the waters. And when his disciples saw him, the word of God said, they said, oh, it is a ghost. He did not keep, keep quiet. God doesn't like confusion. God doesn't love it. When we are confused and we are not focused, he calmed the fears of his disciples. He did not go to ask the water to come down from, but he said to them, do not be afraid, it is I. But to be sure, Peter said, Lord, if it is you, make him command me to come on the water. And the Lord said, come on my boat. And he stepped out of the boat and walked on the water. When we are focused on God, my brothers and sisters, everything is put in place. Everything, no matter what it is, Louisa, respects us. For the power of God is with us. Miracles accompany Christians. Alice, do you understand? Christians do not accompany miracles. So, no, Greg. Miracles accompany Christians because God is with us. So when Peter focused on God, Everything was fine. He was working on the sea. The reason. But as soon as he lost his focus on the Redeemer, on the power that sustains, Lulu, the word of God said he began to sink. Surely, once you are with double mind in God, it will not be the same for you. Once you are afraid, Helen, your life changes in Christ. Your spirit does what? Faith. Your prayer will not be, be not be strong. So when Peter looked aside, he, he, he missed his focus and began to look at the wind and the turmoil of the world, of the sea. He began to fear. He forgot his focus. Jesus, who had asked him to come on, listen, come on. The word of God said, He asked the Lord, Command me. And Jesus said, Come on. And as soon as he focused on Jesus, he was able to do exactly what Jesus did. So also with each and every one of us. Our faith increases if we focus on God. That was why Jesus said, remember, if you believe in me, you will do greater works. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Yes. That was what Jesus said. If you believe in me, you will see greater things and you will do greater works. He asked him to come on the world. My brothers and sisters, let us focus every day, Jimmy, that we do not lose sight of God. Let us place the Lord in front of us so that his angels and archangels will accompany us. Great things and greater things will accompany whatever we do. We will not sink. We will never fail. We will never stumble. For the light of the Lord and his power will do what? Will always be there. Not just to illumine our way, but to help us walk on that way in faith. We pray that the Lord, who is our focus and strength, will always help us come back to him in prayer, and that his powers may be made manifest in our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Amen.
Now rise and in faith, bring our needs to our loving Father, who has asked us to come and come to him. Our church leaders, may they boldly proclaim the truth of the gospel in word and deed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Our civic leaders, may they promote justice and fairness in their policies and decisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the peoples of any war-torn countries, may they have peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. All the baptized, may we be respond faithfully to the call of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an increase in vocation to the priesthood of religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have done it, may they enter the everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For your own personal intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God our Father in your mercy, help us never to lose focus. May you be our attention, Lord. Strengthen us. Command us to always come to you. Help us to do what is right and rejoice in your blessings upon us. Hear the prayers we bring before you, spoken and unspoken, but in faith, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, God, God of our creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and a contrite heart. May the Lord wash over my humanity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this 
all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered together into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Daniel Bishop, and his auxiliaries among the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Bless Saint Joseph as part, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heads of eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and prompt by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, he said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. For the joy and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
My brothers and sisters, behold him, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those of us called to this supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. With the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring us to eternal life. Amen. bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will not hunger, and whoever believes in me will not thirst. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with this heavenly gift, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just before the final blessing, I want to thank Father Paul for being around with us this while. Father will be going back to Nigeria today, so I'll be taking him back to the airport sometime this afternoon. So, Father, we thank you for being around, and we ask you to feel free to come back anytime. We will uh, have you in our prayers. Am I right? Yes. yes. Sir. And keep praying for us too, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, since I came, I've uh, really felt loved by all of you. And I thank Father Chris for giving me that opportunity to celebrate with you. Um, 
if time permits, and if there's another opportunity, certainly I will visit again. So thank you very much, and may God bless you. Thank you, thank you, Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father.